Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Resume. This is Resume You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Tea Tuesday. Tea Tuesday is an open collaboration. It's hosted by my dear friends, Patty over at Life with Patty and Kathy over at Kathy's Favorite Things. Today I am drinking this herb tea from Red Rose called Chocolate Mint Patty, my favorite. And it is sweetened with stevia. I love it. And I am drinking it out of my cute mug that I recently purchased from Joann's at 70% 70, 70 off. So cool. I love it even more. <laughs> So let me take a sip. What I'm sharing with you today is a couple of items that I found at the thrift store. I went to the thrift store um, last Saturday. I'd gone to the Dollar Tree as well, and I posted that video yesterday. And so I thought, well, I only found a couple of things uh, at Goodwill, but I thought I'd share those with you. Uh, anytime I go to the thrift store, I am looking for little golden books. I have quite the collection. And if you are interested in purchasing a little golden book uh, out of my collection, for whatever reason you want, you want it for your collection, you want to gift it, you want to turn it into a junk journal, uh, which is pretty fun to do, uh, just contact me. My email address will be in the description box below. And to see uh, all my collection, go to my playlist. I have seven different videos of my little golden book collection. Too cute. So this time around, I found another copy of the Fuzzy Duckling, and this one is brand new. So cool. The other thing I found was this 12 by 12, let me see, what is it called? Memory book. And it was $3. I thought it was a great price. I do not do scrapbooking, uh, 12 by 12 scrapbooking. I don't do that. But the reason I purchased this, and I want to share this with you, is... Uh, I, I love watching uh, craft room tours. Oh my gosh, that's probably one of my uh, favorite things to watch on YouTube. Anyway, this one lady had, um, I, I think, several of these uh, memory books or scrapbooks that were 12 by 12. And in the pages, because you can put stuff in the pages, they have pockets, she put her scrap paper uh, large pieces of scrap paper. Perhaps she cut something from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And this is her way of storing her scraps. So she organized them in here uh, by color family or print. And so that's why I got this. So that's why, um, you know, would, or that's what I'm going to do with it. So, uh, and I don't have a whole lot of scraps that size. Because um, I try, when I'm doing a journal, I really do use up all my scraps or pretty much everything. Uh, so that's why I got that. And again, I thought it was a great price for uh, $3. Um, the other thing I want to share with you, speaking of organizing, and speaking of organizing uh, scraps of paper, uh, whether it's solids or prints or whatever, I found this at another trip to the thrift store. It's one of those uh, kind of uh, accordion file folders, but this one's a small one. In fact, let me see what size this is. I don't know what size this is. I would say this is a, I don't know what size it is. It's not the large size, it's a small size. So what I've done, I'm gonna open it up and watch it expand. <laughs> I have put my little uh, scraps in here starting with white so I have white gray black brown and they're all in rainbow color and then towards the back uh, after I get done with the solid colors actually they're all solid colors so I have white gray black brown red orange yellow green blue purples and pinks and these are just my smaller scraps like that. And so anytime I'm working on a project, this is on my craft table. And uh, I didn't have them like this uh, 
uh, until just recently, because I just recently found this at the thrift store, I would say within the last three weeks or so. Uh, I just had them in a big, different accordion uh, organizer, and uh, my scraps were just jumbled. So I took the time to organize them into colors and then put them in here. And I have been using my scraps a lot more, and it's easier for me to get into. It is kind of stuffed, but it does close well. <laughs> but this little organizer, or cording organizer, is made very well, um, and it has a handle, so it's easy to, um, you know, put on my craft table and then put it away and and to carry it around and stuff. So anyway, I wanted to share with you how I uh, store my scraps and now how I will be storing my larger pieces of scraps in here. So uh, just another way to stay organized in my craft room. Um, I love organizing things. Yeah. Anyway, that is all I have for Tea Tuesday. Please take the time to go check out other Tea Tuesday videos. There's a lot of people that participate in Tea Tuesday. It's really, really fun. And, and you know, people just do whatever. Some people uh, just talk about how their day's going, how their morning's going. Uh, some do hauls, some do project shares. It's just a variety of stuff. So it's really fun. So uh, I would say uh, type in the search bar T Tuesday and you'll find a lot of videos. And it is just a really fun collaboration. So a big thanks to uh, Patty and Kathy for hosting this. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit. I truly appreciate it. Be safe, be happy, be positive. And until next time, you guys rock.